We got a long day. savings goal and something's got to happen. I can't keep waiting around as much as, you know, Binghamton isn't a bad place. It's really not, but for someone like me, it's just, it ain't the fit. Binghamton's a good place if you, like, have a passion for math and science. Um, but if you're just a dumb creative art hoe like I am just not a good match it's not a good matchup so hopefully we find something we're able to make some moves and I'm able to see all my friends again because every single one of my friends from college is in the city right now and I'm the only one who's not close at all um, They're all like a couple blocks away from each other and I am three hours away. And some of them I haven't seen in almost a year now, close to a year at this point. So, <sighs> Woke up from a whisper Collar shirt down by my feet on crowd bathroom road voice the little salamander has officially made it so um, fingers crossed I can get to Brooklyn without getting completely fucking lost voices fill the rooms upstairs our Ford was warm before we drove Wreck Fresh on the stove. Look at me, a small town gecko in the city of dreams. <laughs> um, I made it here successfully. Minor panic um, and stress and anxiety just because I mean, I'm from a small town in upstate New York, and public transportation scares the shit out of me. <laughs> But I managed nonetheless, and I'm a half hour early compared to everyone else, so I'm just gonna stroll around Brooklyn for a little bit, enjoy some sunshine, because um, I have not left the Binghamton area in a hot minute, so it feels good to get a, a different taste of pollution in my mouth. <laughs> There she fucking is. Hey guys, you see that girl across the way? That's just the love of my life. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so <laughs> much. It looks like we're not alone. <laughs> she walked out with the floral blouse. Back then, everyone was near. So I just want to let you guys know now, um, very shortly when we find a place, we will be making a story time about our experience because the, what we just what we just witnessed. We just got in a man's BMW and took a ride. <laughs> <laughs> took a ride. And uh, half the time he just spoke in Russian and the only words I heard at one point were Basement. Uh, basement <laughs> and I'm pretty sure two bitches. <laughs> we might have been those two bitches. <laughs> so um with the vlog. <laughs> yes, what's wrong? It's just a beautiful day out here. 
Oh, were you talking to me? <laughs> uh, trying. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, we're out here in Crown Heights. Um, we were looking at apartments. We left the apartment because it's raining so hard. Um, <laughs> so now we're going back up to Manhattan because um, it's raining <laughs> and our day is over. <laughs> And everything is done. <laughs> Do we sound upset? Because we shouldn't. We're not upset at all. No, nope. not a Us? bit. Not I. No, no. I'm so glad I straightened my, all oh. of it. All of it. Oh my God. It's okay. It's all right. I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt in the pouring rain. <laughs> Great. If you like peeing, you have a lot of. I just like to say one more time, we went into a man that we didn't know. Uh, <laughs> we went into his BMW. And just said, yeah, this will be fine. It was okay. He was nice. His name was Alex. And he spoke in Russian. Maybe Alex. We don't really know. It's okay though. Okay. It'll be fine. All right. Cut to that B-roll. Focusing on me Lukewarm coffee for the road My car was cold till 59 It seems Now I'm alone officially made it back home um and you might also be saying to yourself shannon you kind of look like shit right now and um so what you say fuck off becky i don't want to hear it i want to hear it okay okay <laughs> my journey back home while I made a cool little montage out of it, <laughs> was the biggest pain in the ass experience of my entire 22, soon to be 23 years of life. On our way back to the subway station, it fucking downpours on us. And all I have is like a chintzy $3 umbrella from Walmart. So I just get soaking wet. And then once I finally get to my bus, don't know what the fuck my luck is anymore once i get back to the bus or once i get to the bus get on the ac doesn't work on it so from new york city to scranton pa the bus was just 90 fucking degrees so not only was i wet i was hot and i was sticky and not in the sexy way in the bad way in the not so good way, in the way that makes you just wanna uh fucking die. It was bad. It was bad news bears. And then once we got to Scranton, PA, we were there for like 40 minutes longer than we were supposed to be because the bus driver was trying to figure out what was wrong with the bus. And he was just getting mad at us because we were asking 
hey, bud, what's going on? Can we go home? And he said, he, I'm working on it. And I went, okay. So we were there for 40 minutes and eventually they transferred us to a new bus. And then once they got us to a new bus, we hung out for another like 10 minutes while our bus driver moved other buses around so we could get out. And then it took me like an hour from Scranton to get back to Binghamton. And as soon as I got home, I washed the stank off of me. And now I'm in bed, exhausted. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's time to close up this vlog and maybe have a small breakdown. Just a small one, not a big one, but may I, mm, mm, will I cry? I don't know, I kind of almost cried earlier while listening to fucking Kesha, so why wouldn't I cry now? <laughs> um, with all my delays on the bus, I had plenty of time to think about my life and where it's going, because earlier in the week, I am uh, cried in front of my parents. It accomplished nothing at all. I tried to talk about my feelings, but I got so overwhelmed that I literally could not get a single word out other than <laughs> um, and then fuck my. I'm shot. I'm fucking shot right now. Um, yeah, and then today went okay. I guess, like, in my head, I had, like, this goo-goo baby idea, this, like, fairy tale idea that me and Cass would, like, just find the perfect place, like, right away, and it'd be fucking awesome and sick, and we'd be like, okay, let's, like, let's do it. Um, but all the places we looked at today just just weren't it chief as you can tell by our reactions earlier in our attitude um they just weren't it and mostly we found out what we didn't like which is a start um i don't know i was hoping i really was i was just hoping that i was gonna get there and just fucking find a place and then that just that'd be it but it wasn't which sucks um but it was really nice to see Cass because Cass is like the first one of my friends um at least my friends from college and that I've seen in a long time um most of my friends from college I haven't seen in around like almost a year slash seven a year slash seven months depending um and it sucks because like i want to be with all my friends i want to see all my friends i want to live and i want to grow with all my friends but also at the same time and this is what i was thinking about when i was delayed on the bus for hours and hours and hours and hours on end was I just, I want to be with them, but also at the same time, my life isn't for them. And I have this mentality that I much rather have people love me and miss me than be tired with me, if that makes sense. Um, I just, like, this is gonna, this is about to sound really fucking stupid and really just, like, the most 14-year-old statement that's ever gonna come out of my mouth. And I know I just made entire video shit posting essentially what I'm about to say but I am saying this in the deepest sincerity of my heart right now <laughs> and that's like 
when I was listening to my music on Spotify on Shuffle, Boys Like Girls came up on Shuffle. And I made an entire video talking about how I thought that was the best album of all time, right? And it was like a jokey, haha, whatever video, but I genuinely really do think that. <laughs> um, and so when it came up on Shuffle, I went and actually go, I went and actually clicked on the album and I went through and I listened to the whole thing like on repeat over and over again and I just I just remember when I first listened to that album on my pink iPod Nano on my fucking swing set in my backyard I just remember thinking when I grow up in my version of grown up at that age was 17 <laughs> um when I grow up, you know, I want to live my life how this album makes me feel. How every, just about every song on the album, like, that's how I want to live my life. The feelings that it elicits inside of me, these feelings of just like, of just going. But with no clear destination, but going and just creating your own story and I don't know how to explain it it's just a feeling like it's a feeling that I get getting me tit no I'm just kidding <laughs> I get like in here like deep in here like when I listen to that album it just <sighs> look like being in Gemini I very very rarely stick with an idea or a feeling in the long term like I that is the most Gemini quality about me, is I am very with my ideas. They're always changing, always something new. I That's why I'll never have like a tattoo or anything, because I couldn't imagine committing to something so long term. But how that album makes me feel now, and what it drives me, and what dreams I create from it, and what just all the ooey gooey YA Disney novel whatever stupid bullshit the feelings that it elicits inside of me now at almost 23 is the same feelings it gave me when I listened to it the first time at like 12 or 13 or however old I was when I first heard it I just I want to live my life how that album makes me feel where I'm just chasing and traveling and seeing uh, I don't know hopefully I can make a more coherent thought out video um, that's maybe a little more structured but, you know, my vlogs are mostly just for me. I don't really post them in the hopes that they get views and stuff like that. I just post them so I think, like, one day I can go back and, like, watch all these and see, like, how far I've come and stuff. But, I don't know. A part of me really just wants to buy a van. And... Just go go all across the country and just go that's corny as all hell and I hate that that came out of my mouth what a stupid little egg I am <laughs> um yeah I just I don't know. I want to do something this coming June. I want to... I don't know. I don't know what, but I... I gotta make these feelings that I'm feeling from listening to that stupid fucking album. I need to finally make them reality and just... and just suffice that inner child that I'll always be. I mean, after all, Geminis are the teenagers of the Zodiac, so... I mean, maybe what I'm saying is really not all that out of left field as I make it seem to be. Um, 
but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now i need to go to bed i have work tomorrow morning um so as always i love you with all my heart and i hope you have a good rest of your day or night or wherever this video finds you and i'll catch you next time Mwah. Oh, and actually, real quick, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this wouldn't be a Mary Shan McHugh vlog without a shot of this beautiful, handsome boy.